when is the best day of the week? The best day of the week is a Sabbath, a Shabbat. Sabbath day is by far the best day, it's your rest day. And um, right there is the evidence, if you're to go to the court of law, of all the verses for Sabbath. Down there is the Sabbath, uh, sorry, the, the Sunday the Sunday ones, but it's not actually Sunday, it's actually the first day of the week. So right away, it's, it's a wrong teaching to say that Sunday's the first day of the week because that calendar wasn't even there. But the, ma the, the, main, the main ones that you're going to come across, um, and the, probably the best ones are the Exodus ones, um, for for the Sabbath, but if you actually, if you actually work it out that the the earth was created in seven days, uh, six days, and this on the seventh is a rest, so that's how important it is to God. Right, the the, be, the best text in the full Bible, I think, is is this one. I'll, I'll do the one right at the very start, which is Exodus 31, from 12 onwards, and then I'll go into the one in Revelation. Um, but it says. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, speaking to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbath you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations. And right away there, we are the children of Israel, because we're spiritual Israel, because we've been grafted on. That you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. So God takes it very, very seriously. For whoever does any work on it, that people shall be cut off from among his people. So you can't buy and sell because you're going to make someone else work. Work shall be done for six days, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, both to the Lord, so not the first or the eighth day, which the, the Catholics change it to. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a permanent covenant, perpetual, Permanent depends how you're you going to, you know, look, look at it right the way back um, into Hebrew if you've got a, an, an e-sword. It's a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Stamped. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day, so going right the way back to Genesis, before Moses, he rested and was refreshed. And when he had made an end, speaking to him in Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two tablets of testimony tablets of stone. It's so written by the finger of God on stone, written in stone, written in stone. So the other one for people that are saying, I mean there's a good there's a, there's a good one in Matthew. Right, so turn to Matthew there and um, basically the disciples are asking asking Jesus when when are you coming back Jesus? And um, what what we've, what we've got to look for for you the signs you're coming back. And um, so he says about the abomination of desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet. And he goes on and on um, to verse 20 and it says, And pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on a Sabbath. So if the Sabbath has been done away with, why is Jesus saying to look out for the Sabbath before the great tribulation? And, that, and people try and argue about that, that being in 70 AD. But he's actually saying when the, you know, the beginning of the world at this time nor shall ever be blah blah blah, it, go, it goes on about the, the sun being darkened, it's talking about the actual end of days tribulation, so that's in the book of Matthew, and then for people that say that the commandments are done away with, um, or God's commandments are done, done away with, and it says in Revelation 14, 12, here is the patience of the saints, here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus, and that is by, by the Lord, that's by no, that the is totally. 100% um, proof for me. But I that, don't know. Yeah, that, that, Where else are you going to look? That's the Bible. So, so that's front, middle and back of Bible. That's three times. But I'll, let, I'll do that so you can pause it. And there's all all the verses for yeah, you. Yeah, I think we got them before, but we'll do it you, again. You can, just, you can just pause it and, and have a look at it.